Unfortunately, I've never really been able to draw well. And it's not for a lack of trying. When I was younger, I doodled and sketched and thought maybe I could force myself to get better. But after a while, I just accepted maybe it's not something I'll ever get good at. But there's a problem. You see, I've got a one-year-old son and his drawing skills are very quickly approaching mine. And at the rate he is going, it won't be long before he gets better than me. But let's see if we can make something to keep him on his toes a little bit longer. Here's the materials we're going to use, starting off with two stepper motors. We've got two 40 centimeter linear rails, some GT20 pulleys, three with teeth and one without, and a rubber CNC wheel. We're also going to be using a standard SG90 servo motor. We'll also need an 8mm linear bearing and a corresponding rod, and also a couple of limit switches. And to drive everything, I'm going to be making use of an Arduino Uno and the CNC shield, which makes using stepper motors really, really easy. With all the hardware ready, I jumped into Fusion 360 to design the 3D printed parts that are going to hold everything together. And this is what the final design looks like. All of the 3D printing files will be available on my printables page. Just check out the link in the description below. With everything ready, it was time to start building.
the cable management here was quite difficult so in the end what i ended up doing was using a load of jumper cables to get everything connected to the arduino some zip ties and then i took a page from the prusa playbook and used some textile sleeve just to keep everything in one place so for this project we're going to be using an open source arduino library called gerbil Gerbil basically lets us send g-code commands to our arduino so we can control our motors and get our drawings going and once you've got everything set up all you need to do is upload the Gerbil upload sketch onto your arduino and then you're set the next software we're going to use is called ultimate g-code center this one's really straightforward it's the actual software that we use to send the g-code commands to our arduino and with everything in place, it was time to get the wires connected and see if everything was working as intended. After setting the board rate and the COM port in Ultimate G-Code Center, the first thing that I wanted to check was the homing functionality. It was really wicked to see that it was homing as intended and that was a big thing ticked off the list because once you get this part right, you feel the rest kind of falls into place. Then I spent a little bit of time doing just some random movement just to make sure the motors were working as I wanted them to. And with my mind at rest that everything was working properly, it was time to get an actual drawing going. I was even able to control the servo motor using G-code commands which is really important because this servo is what will be moving the pen on and off the paper or whatever else it's drawing on. So we just need to get two more bits together and then we've got everything we need to start the drawing. The first thing is a software called Inkscape, which is what we will use to generate the G-code for whichever vector drawing you want to do. And in addition, you're going to need to download this particular extension from this GitHub page. I'll leave a link below, and then once you've got those two things, we're ready to go. So my first test drawing was basically a little perimeter marking so that I know how much working area that I have, and then I can make sure my subsequent drawings fit within that perimeter. This took a couple of goes. On the first round, the stepper motor seemed to be jumping around quite a bit, which is why the lines looked quite dotted. So I just tightened everything up and then went again, and it gave a nice, solid, clean line. But once I knew everything was working as planned, it was just a case of doing as many drawings as possible to see how this thing worked. So that's what I did. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out. This machine seems to be working well. There's definitely some ways that we can improve this going forward. But for now, I think it's going to take a little while for my one-year-old to catch up to these. So mission accomplished. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to check out this video where I make my own camera slider so that I can catch some nice footage. Similar to this project, so if you enjoyed this, be sure to check that out. And I'll see you all in the next video.